Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable the Windows Copilot AI Assistant on the beta channel of Windows 11. Right now, we are on the latest build from the beta channel, which is the build 22,631.2262. And basically, the process is somewhat similar to the dev channel, but we also have to do some tricks in order to enable Copilot for people that are not eligible for some reason. So if you enjoy videos like these in which I show you how to enable different hidden features in Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all what you need to know is that microsoft officially announced that windows copilot is rolling out to the beta channel but there are still users that don't have it enabled automatically in this video i'm going to show you the full process of doing that quick disclaimer from the beginning a lot of the info methods and also ids that i'm going to show you in this video were provided by rafael rivera on twitter so make sure to follow him if you want to learn more about hidden features like these. So to begin with, we're going to have to make sure that we are eligible on our region to use the Windows Copilot. And for that, we're going to have to open the registry editor, type in the search box regedit or registry editor, click on registry editor and on user account control, of course, click on yes. Here inside the registry editor, you're going to have to expand H key current user, then software, then Microsoft, then scroll down to Windows shell. And then you have here Copilot, expand Copilot again and click on the Bing chat. And if you click on the Bing chat key, basically, you're going to have the registry D word is user eligible, double click on it and make sure the value data is set to one. If you have it set to zero, just change it to one. And that's how you change the eligibility for your region. Now, the next step would be to make sure that we have the Microsoft Edge browser up to date, because right now, as you may know, Windows Copilot is using the Bing chat and also Microsoft Edge to run inside Windows. And we will need to open up the Microsoft Store, go to library and then click on get updates to make sure that we update all the Windows apps inside our operating system and of course Microsoft Edge will be automatically updated with those. Now of course for the final part we're gonna have to get five tools so you're gonna have the link for five tool in the article below in the video description just make sure to get the latest version zip and then open it up using file explorer to set it up it's really simple click on extract all click on browse and extract it into the system 32 location this PC local disk C Windows and then scroll down to system 32 select folder extract in my case I'm gonna have to replace the files click on continue and this is how easily you set up Vive tool on your computer. Basically, for those of you who don't know, Vive tool is a small tool that helps you enable features that are tested behind the scenes by Microsoft or slowly rolling out. Now you're going to have to open up the CMD, type in the search box CMD, and then click on run as administrator inside the CMD. Now inside the CMD, you're going to have to copy and paste in five different commands. As I've said, Rafael Rivera provided them on Twitter, and you're going to have these commands in the article below in the video's description on the itstechbase.com website. And these are the five commands that we need. Basically, just copy and paste them in the CMD. And after you run each command, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration, basically, which means that the ID was successfully enabled inside our system. And after you run each command, of course, you should receive the confirmation after you run it, just make sure to exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now after the restart, you should right away notice that Windows Copilot will be automatically pinned to the taskbar. Or if it's not just right click on the taskbar, click on taskbar settings and here in taskbar items you should notice the windows copilot section that you can basically turn on or off as you can see windows copilot doesn't have the label right now on the beta channel because it is a bit bugged but of course this will be fixed in future builds and once you turn it on we're going to have the windows copilot available in your system just open it up and as you can see windows copilot preview with Bing chat and i'm not going to go in depth with it but you know what you can do with it you can basically ask the ai certain things certain tasks inside windows i've shown it to you before so you can uh, go around and play with it on the beta channel if you didn't have it already enabled so don't forget that every information you need is inside the article below in the video description alongside with vive tool and all the commands that we've used in this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was Emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day